WF representing Palace. So let us tell you about Palace. Uh, Eagle Eye Football here, Crystal Palace Zero. West Ham 2, we're joined here with the player ratings. Joined here with the player ratings? I can't be asked. We are here with the player ratings today. Chairman Henderson. Um, I'll give him a five. I think he, I don't think he's that bad. I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. Um, I don't think he had much chance with both goals. So whatever he did was, was okay. Nothing spectacular. I thought his kicking out was a bit ropey, uh, but yeah, five. Uh, Tyreek Mitchell, I thought he was probably one of our better players today, actually, but still not his best game in the world. Um, struggled with Bowen a little bit, I'd say six. Um, Chadi Riyad. <laughs> um, On his debut. Two. He struggled. He did struggle. I mean, to be fair, you know what? Airily, I think he's okay. He's got to sort his passing up and stuff, but um, yeah, he had a tough time today. Mark? Um, Mark, um, five again. I think he got caught out a few times. Um, I think he's, as I said in my fan cam, I think he's going to struggle without Anderson there, but it was a good compliment in each other. But he needs to step up and he needs a club captain and he needs to start shouting the other players to do what they need to do. Got caught out so much in the back. Oh, I only considered two, but um, yeah, five for me. Five. Chris Richards, I think he did okay, but nothing more than a five, I don't think. I think he gets a five for standing on the pitch, did some good things, some really bad things. Struggled a lot with Kudus with his pressing. Uh, struggles on the ball, didn't he? But he did okay. Some good blocks in there. Uh, Munoz. Um, I'll give him a six. He's the only one that tried. Well, like in an attacking sense. And obviously, who I said my mind in the match was. Um, I feel, I, feel so, I feel sorry for him. I actually genuinely feel sorry for him. He's, like, he's the only one that looks like he wants to win. Like, he's, pre he's the one pressing the goalkeeper. He says it all. Like, he's doing too much. He needs help. Adam Wharton. Best player on the pitch. I wouldn't say he's one of his brilliant games, but he's still comfortably the best player on the pitch. So, yeah, I, I give him a seven. I thought his passing was pretty good. He did give away a few times. And he obviously he tried to foul... The guy for the second goal, but missed it completely. He tried to take one for the team, but you know, yeah, seven, yeah. Jefferson Lerma, I give him a six. Think he's all right. Uh, awful for him to get taken off, if I'm honest. But I don't think he really put a foot wrong too much. I think he's solid on the ball. Jumped over a few people with his jumping ability, but you know. Oh, yeah, he got booked because the ref got in the way as well. Yeah, <laughs> he got booked because the ref got in the way. So it's a bit. Yeah, we got conned out of a of some points here but we played awful we don't deserve nothing today uh ez ever 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 you're gonna give me back to back like low scores um I mean, we still can <sighs> four because i know that we all know the Eze that we see here week in week out and this wasn't one of his better games this him without Michael is, is him trying to do everything by himself. Yeah, and he, he needs to stop. Just keep passing. Like, Mitchell was making five or six different runs and he kept ignoring him. And he did it against Brentford as well. So he, it's something he's got to sort Obviously, unlucky he hit the crossbar. The one before that he should have scored. Yeah, four. Edward. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know, I, 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 I think I, I've always said it, and I think there's a player in there, and I so, Zero. I so want him to do well. <laughs> Move away. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I so want him to do well, but it just, you know, I know he's playing out of position and probably I'm not playing the wing, but, you know, if you get a chance, just do your best, do the simple things well. That's all you got to do, and unfortunately, Edouard can't do the simple things well. I'm not going to give him a zero, I don't think it was that bad, but it was one, he should have scored, it was clean through. I'm going to give him a two because some of his control was, was pretty poor. His, his positioning is that's absolutely awful, isn't it? You know, he's finding space, just stands there, expects the ball, he's not going to get the ball, and when he gets the ball, he just gets knocked off it, so, yeah, two. It's what it looks like, it's like exactly uh, it, isn't it? Finishing up the starting eleven, Mateta, I'd say four. Can't shoot, lie to you. Shoot, shoot. 
shoot, shoot, shoot. Exactly. <laughs> I'd say a four of Mateo, you know, he didn't really get the service. Pretty rubbish all game. Uh, last season, that chance at the right at the end goes in. Absolutely right, Last yeah. season, that goes in. But, you know, if, if we're playing so rubbish all game, he's not going to turn it on instantly, is he? So I give Mateta a four. Going on to the bench now. Take care, guys. Yeah, Drink some rum. <laughs> 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 Don't encourage me to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the website. Update looks great. Cheers, Literally. man. On, <laughs> on, on, on to the bench now, really. Uh, Kamada. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not his fault he's not a centre midfielder but he, he struggled didn't he <laughs> he really struggled he, 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 was it Aaron that just lifted him <laughs> absolutely he strugg physically he struggles so OG don't play him in centre mid he's a 10 or leave him on the bench um, since Eddie got a 2 I'll give him a 3 because he went worse than Eddie <laughs> Um, you know what? Schlapp. Oh, Schlapp. Oh, yeah, he came on the field, didn't he? <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, I don't think it was on long enough to uh, affect the game anyway, so I'm going to give him a five. He did nothing, really. Nothing bad, nothing good. And he came on at a bad time. We're all the junior down. He's, he's a, you know, nothing he could do, really. So, yeah, five. Finally, you've got Ismail Saar. Yeah, I think I'll give him a six. Wasn't on the pitch for long enough, but when he came on, he made four chances, had four sh made sh four shooting opportunities. Uh, granted, he did try and shoot with his groin once. If he yeah. if he used his <laughs> if he if he used his foot, he might have scored. Who knows? <laughs> but you know, he was probably our best substitute and probably our most uh, lethal player at the moment. The one that made the most chances. Um, Oliver Glasner, bearing in mind his subs. Five. I was close to giving him a four. Here's why. I, I know we haven't got the squad yet, and that's not Glasner's fault. But certain things, I think, in game, he's got to be a bit more proactive. We would cost Roy Hodgson for this, so we've got to be fair. You know, Riyad was struggling initially. Make an adapt, adapt something. You know, if you see that we're constantly forced, Western forced us to give it to Riyad. Then maybe clip one to Munoz or Mitchell. Like, just get them to make these little, these little in-game tweaks, I think, personally. And the, the substitutions need to improve. But that's back-to-back -back games where it's cost us goals. Ref? Five again. I thought it wasn't bad. That's generous. I know it is, yeah. I mean, there was plenty of times when he really should have played on. Um, but I think it was equally crap for both sides. So, yeah, five. I, you know, it wasn't... Yeah. We didn't actually... Uh, he didn't actually affect the game with his decisions. But just generally, for letting the game flow, he was... Very poor, but yeah, yeah five. Right, one thing I'd like to say, I don't know the rule about it, but I do think that West Ham were done hard by with the Paqueta thing because Adam Wharton did touch the ball with yeah. his foot when setting up for the free kick. So I don't know if the rule is the ball has to do a full rotation, but 100%, if the rule is you touch the ball, the ball's in play, Paquette was, was gone, was and I feel like that, that that chance should have stood. But finally, it was the fans. And maybe Paquette had a booking in a, in a book in a, a booking on ninety minutes, and the book is ten to one. <laughs> yeah, you never know. But uh, fans um, started off really well, but then you know it, we were just playing so badly, and it, I think in the first ten minutes when we tried to hit a long ball, and you just thought, "Wow, we miss Anderson. Wow, we miss Anderson." And then you're thinking, "Ah." Oh, Edward's doing okay, does a bad thing, does a bad thing, does a bad thing. Yeah, just got so flat. And then you're like, that that could have been IU, like could have been so much better today. And the the fans just went flat. I would say five. Like the first first twenty minutes brilliant. Everyone's gassed to be back, but the rest of the game, I'm sure people started leaving the second that second goal went in. So I don't blame them. But guys, thank you very much for watching. This is the player ratings. Hopefully we're a bit more enthusiastic in the coming weeks. But Stay tuned, Transfer Weekly's coming out and the Deadline Day stream. Match so, re review tomorrow and then we're back at Norwich. Yeah, let's hope something good happens. Mm. Anyway, big week. big week up the palace. Oh.